Hello, my name is Bob Wirtz. I'm the inventor and designer of the Sidewinder tools and I want to put together a short little training video on how to use the tools. First of all, I'd like to talk about the design of the tool really quickly. The tool is designed with a swivel cuff, swivel joint, and a narrow profile to allow you to move the tool in a sideway position and move it up against walls and edges. The design of the tool um, was designed in an ergonomic manner so that we can actually eliminate the stress on your back. So if you're using a traditional bent wand, you would more likely be bent over like this and vacuuming the floor in a bent position. This longer extended straight wand is designed to keep you in a very vertical, comfortable position as you're vacuuming. So it takes the stress off your back. The, uh, the tool is also designed to do edges, walls, ceilings, vents, multiple um, surfaces and to do a, a detailed vacuuming in a more rapid, quick manner. So the tools were designed in that slim profile basically so that you could use the whole length of the tool as an edge cleaning tool. On your bent wand type tools where you're going in a forward position like this, the edge cleaning part of the tool is just the end of the, of the tool, the floor attachment, put up against the wall similar in this manner with the end going against the tool. This tool, the Sidewinder tool, is designed so that you can run the whole length of the tool into the edges. The uh, design of the tool, we simplified the coupler and just put a friction, kit, friction fit coupler on the tool so that you are able to take the tool off easily and reassemble the tool in a real easy, simple manner. This reduces the need for a coupler on the wand and reduces some of the weight to the wand, making the wand very light and comfortable. The um, idea of the tool moving in a sideways position like this allows you to go freely from one side of your body to the other side. So I can vacuum over on the left hand side of my body in a very easy position or I can switch it over to the right hand side of my body and, and clean vacuum on this side without major adjustments to my body. With the bent wand, you're going to you basically shove, pull it over and you're doing a lot of motion with your body to maneuver the tool around. So the idea behind the tool to get you operating this tool in a very easy manner, um, one of the teaching methods, the methods that we use is just using it as a, as a wet mop. Wet mops to, would typically be used in a figure eight position moving the tool like let, let, or let a mop in a figure eight like this. This tool does not to be, need to be twisted around in that, mo in that method, but you use the wand in a similar motion. So you would take the wand, put it, if you're right-handed, typically you would have your right hand up on the right hand, on the top part of the wand, left hand, and, and then put in a very comfortable, comfortable position, then your left hand just add it to the wand in a very comfortable position. So you have this kind of positioning, which is a very comfortable position. If you're left-handed, you would just do the opposite. So you have left hand at the top with your hand in that position. Although if you can do that motion either way, if, if you're right-handed or left-handed, it doesn't really matter. That same positioning is very easy to switch back and forth and have the same type of motion. That idea is to get you in a vertical position so that you're cleaning this position instead of this position. Options that we've seen with people using the wand um, are, are varied and a lot of them are, are not proper usage. We'll see people, see people grab the wand and extend their arms out in this motion and try to, to vacuum like this, which is very awkward, very hard on your hand. Um, I usually respond to that asking the person if they would mop a floor like that. So you would not go around mopping a floor like this and you would not use the sidewinder tool in this position. It's very awkward, very hard on the arms. Again, you would just take the, the, the mop style uh, of holding the, the wand and just put it in a very comfortable position for your hands. So now you have this motion, which is very simple, very easy, requiring a, a very low level of effort 
to maneuver the tool around. Um, we, we see a lot of people taking the wand and starting out like this, and then they'll switch into this motion right here like this, and then start doing this, the, forward and back. The tool will not work in that, that manner. It needs to be operated in a side-to-side -side manner in order to keep the tool in a flat profile to the carpet. You want to keep it in that motion. If you get up against an edge, you're going to you're going to go and open it to the edge that way, but on open floors you can just keep it like this. One of the advantages to um, maneuvering the sidewinder tool is you can keep it flat on the floor to be have it be most efficient on, on a flat carpet. But if you happen to run across a big piece of uh, debris that you want to vacuum up, there's two options there. One is you can just turn the tool open and it will suck that right up. Obviously, I'm not have, I don't have a circular vacuum or it would take it right up. Or number two, you just step on the end of the tool and use the wand as a crevice tool and suck that large debris right up. If it's a piece of sheetrock, you can actually break it and suck it up in, in, in that manner. Okay, the Sidewinder tool also comes in a horsehair nylon brush version or versions. And that tool will be used for walls and delicate surfaces that you want to uh, protect with the brush or, or just for dusting. This tool can actually be used on a wall surface. Where you can go side to side, up and down the wall. You basically treat it just like you would on the floor, maneuvering it side to side with a kind of sweeping motion. If you're dusting a wall, you would start at the top and work your way down. It'll adapt to moldings and also vents. So we have some vents here that we'd like to brush off. I'm not going to get too close because there's a lot of dust on these vents, but this is what you would end up with with the brush tool. Simpler, simple side motion, sweeping motion. These tools come in different sizes. They have a, we have an 8 inch, 15 inch, and 18 inch tool that would adapt to whatever surface or area that, you're, that you need to clean with it. Okay, I just want to go through the, the simple steps of how to operate the sidewinder tool with a straight wand. Typically people would be vacuuming with the bent wand bent over. This tool is not to be used that way. This tool is to be used in an upright position, similar to wet mopping a floor or using a, let's say, a kitchen corn broom. And in this position would eliminate the stress on your back and give you a much wider, easier uh, range of motion with your vacuum. The simple steps to operating the, the wand is to get your right hand at the top of the wand or your left hand if you're left-handed. Bring that hand fairly close to your body in a very comfortable position and then just add your opposite hand, left hand, in a very comfortable position on the wand. And then just let the tool sweep in a sweeping motion. You can either vacuum in, a, in moving forward, or you can vacuum moving backwards, or you can just reach off to the side and vacuum on one side, or rotate it around and vacuum on the opposite side. The hand position is very comfortable, very, very close to your body, gives you kind of a, a steady, stable position with your hands in your body, and just an easy, sweeping motion. Not a lot of twisting, not a lot of arm movement out here. We see a lot of people maybe do arm movement. We've seen a lot of people try to te teach people the vacuum, bouncing around and moving their whole body and sweeping. This tool is not to be used that way. It's just to be used in a very comfortable, easy position. Edge cleaning, corner cleaning, just a very easy sweeping position. If you find yourself working too hard with this tool, you're not following those simple steps of keeping your hands in a, in a very comfortable ergonomic position and just letting the tool glide on the floor. You can go forward, close to your feet, left or right. Just a very simple motion.